Hey, how you doing today? Scott here from Guitar is Great. Just bringing you another uh, kind of beginner lesson today. I uh, just want to keep talking about uh, memorizing your notes on the strings. And I'm um, just kind of uh, elaborating a little bit on uh, one of the videos I did last week. Uh, so today I'm going to be personally focusing on the B string and uh, the trick I want to show you is simply taking some masking tape and putting little pieces on the notes you want to memorize and then writing the uh, note names on there. And then uh, the second step is uh, just finding a chord shape that uh, will help you to learn uh, that, that note. So for the B string, I'm going to use the D shape chord. And that's the uh, first finger, second fret of the G string, uh, middle finger, second fret of the E string, ring finger, third fret of the B string. So this is going to be our root note right here, our middle finger. Or if you're into shapes, um, it's at the, the point of the triangle. So uh, this is our D chord. This is also our D note right there. And that's how I'm going to memorize all these other notes. So if we start here, that's a C, we have D, we have E, F, G, A, B, and then we're back to C. Um, so using a chord is a really great way to uh, not only learn a new chord shape, but um, another great way is to, if you're into soloing, you can kind of uh, start your solo on that root note there. If you know like a little shape you could use. So that would be in the key of F, because I'm on my F root note right there. Um, another idea is to just literally just look at the string, play it, and memorize it. So D, E, F, G, A, B. Um, you can also do different techniques while you're doing that. So you could practice your vibrato. D, E, F, G. Um, and you want to stick to one string at a time for this uh, masking tape trick just to avoid confusion. And like I said in previous videos, I would start on your thickest E string here. Uh, and remember that your thinnest E string is the exact replica of your thickest. So try to get two birds and one stone. Um, after you do the E string, I would work on the A string, uh, just because that's where all of our bar chords come from, and that's how we identify them. Um, Alright, well thanks for stopping by today guys, I appreciate it. Um, if, you, if you liked the video or if it helped you out, maybe think about sharing it to Facebook or anything like that. 
Uh, thanks to all my new subscribers. Really appreciate you guys. Have a great day.